Always make sure the message I reach them. Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. You know, it's Teach Dem, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 248. I trust that everyone in the hearing of my voice and those seeing my face are healthy. Your family uh, members are doing okay as well. For the persons who still have to work, on this Friday night, I trust that your shift will end soon. For the persons who are on the road or on their way home, I trust that you will get home safely. And for the people that are locked down in a quarantine, really for to teach about some things we have to jam down. Jammer. Jamaica land we love. Land of food and water, Bob Marley, you seen both Vice Cartel, Mujiband, and Shelly and Fraser Fry, Celine Thompson. So only more people. Marcus, Mosiah, Gavi. Peeps. Good night. We're there. For all those persons who are on the battlefield, who are on the front line, or essential service um, services providers, or nurses, or doctors, police officers, soldiers, all those persons who are putting up a front against the spread of the coronavirus, I trust that you guys will continue to remain healthy and you will continue to win this fight as we go along. Peeps, good night. Soon forward. Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them. You know it's teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Hey yo, yellow! Like, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification button. Hey yo, we always up to something. Teach them! Hey yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Good night again, peeps. Please remember to share the stream on your social media pages, platforms, statuses, WhatsApp, Instagram stories, Facebook stories, Facebook page, um, Twitter, the works. What are your peeps? Um, breaking news. Just before I came on, um, information was made public that two new coronavirus cases have been confirmed in Jamaica. Moving the number from 65 to from 63 to 65. So 65 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Jamaica. So I'm not even scripted. I'm a phone where I read it off. Um, Friday, April 9, 2020, Jamaica has 65 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. The two new COVID cases are a 50-year-old female from St. James with a travel history from New York and a 21-year-old female from St. Catherine who is on the investigation. So um, how that person became infected is on the investigation. That is what that means. Um, they bring the number, they bring to 31 the number of imported cases, 22 the number of import-related cases, and 12 the number of cases on the investigation. The 12 cases on the investigation have been traced to six individuals who have given no history of travel contact with or contact with um, a confirmed case prior to testing positive. So one individual from Portland, two whose contacts have been tested, one from Kingston and St. Andrew with five contacts who have tested positive, and three other individuals, one from St. Mary and two from St. Catherine. All of these individuals are currently in isolation. So the ministry is actively investigating all the contacts of these cases. Persons of interest in these investigations have either been quarantined or isolated as per the release. The release further continues. So far, 34 or 52% of the confirmed cases are males. I'll talk about that in a few. And 31 or 48% are female. The cases range in age from 12 to 87 years. 
and the average age is 49.17 years. 13 patients have fully recovered, while 4 have died. 3 are currently, well not 3, there are currently 22 persons in quarantine in a government facility and 56 persons in isolation. The 56 persons in isolation number is, is the one that is probably the most concerning because if you are in isolation, it means that you would be presenting with symptoms but you may not have been tested yet or the test results are pending. Um, so it means that out of that 56, the numbers could increase in terms of the confirmed cases. Yeah, One person in isolation is critically ill. That is not good news either. A common feature among the persons in Jamaica who have had severe illness has been the presence of comorbid illnesses such as diabetes and hypertension. Jamaica's, well, Jamaicans are reminded that they must reduce their risk of exposure if they have chronic illnesses and also reduce the risk for elderly persons. They can do so by staying at home if they are sick with fever and or respiratory symptoms such as cough or cold symptoms frequently washing and sanitizing hands and covering their mouths and noses if sick in a high-risk group or in crowded situations. High-risk group include the elderly and persons with chronic illnesses such as sickle cell disease, cardiovascular and kidney disease, in addition to diabetes and hypertension, among others. So just reading um, the press release from the Ministry of Health from the phone um so we are now at 65 cases you know about 10 minutes ago i was here sitting say it is good that the numbers have not moved from 63 for the past couple of hours and the fatalities have not increased but i just direct when i see the rainfall um blessings to the persons who were in the stream last night when we spoke to the recuperating covid19 patient is a part of the family um we also spoke to Two nurses from the St. Anne's Bay Hospital, um, one who is directly involved in the treatment of corona um, patients and one who is a part of the accident and emergency unit at the hospital. They shared their experiences and we spoke about a number of things. If you haven't watched that, if you can do so um, when the stream finish. So yes, peeps, good night. Um, I kind of just want to finish the stream. Like I have not, I, I just, I have not said this publicly. But I have not been feeling great for the past couple of days. Um, I mean, I have no sneezing or no coughing or no fever or not. I mean, I know. I have just been a bit out of it. Um, I have tried to rest for the past couple of days in terms of not doing a lot of work. Um, been trying to get some sleep. See, I have been trying to eat, eat properly. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of a bit out of it. I don't know. Exhaustion. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You yeah, understand? Samuel, good night, brother, brother. So, I just want to get the stream over with. And, and I only have stream tonight because I know people have been looking forward to the stream. See, I don't have stream because I want to stream. Big man thing. I tell us straight up. You yeah, understand? So, um, Andrew, you it. I don't know still. I don't know how you pronounce the corona for me, brother. I say, I don't have no fever. I don't have sneeze. I don't have cough. I don't know. I just don't feel up to it. You yeah, understand? Yeah, man. So, Step back that better. You see me? Yeah, man. And for the past couple of days, as I said, I have not been doing a lot of work. I think today is the day that I did the most work on the channel in terms of making videos. But you know what I think. Over there, i um, been trying to rest for whatever for what that is. And tomorrow, you know, it's a marathon editing day because the interview on Sunday, which is the final interview that I have for now, based on the fact that I had to stop I'm um, running the interviews for, from about three weeks ago. Um, will be the longest of all the interviews I have uploaded. Even longer than the singing melody interview. So you know what I think. Alright peeps. Um, but we're there. Normally. John Young. I'm big up to the people in the comment section. I may, may see the comments there man. I process them still. I right? so may say blessings. Yeah man. Um, brother. Nah, man, I've been quarantined for about three weeks and our family. Yes, and nobody else not there. I'm a load there. Zane, um, remember that the missus is pregnant, so she was shipped off. 
Um, so I have been been here alone for that period of time. Nobody comes, nobody goes. It's just me. So, and I've only been on the road like once in the past, almost three weeks. So I don't know, I don't know. But me I go on pre war go on still. You know what I think? Of? All right, peace. I'm gonna move on. Um, we know that the greatest issue that we face at the moment is COVID nineteen. However. Before the onset of the coronavirus in Jamaica, before the outbreak, we were still grappling and dealing with the dengue fever epidemic. Yeah? And that has not gone anywhere. It is just that the coronavirus situation has overshadowed it. And we should not forget that we are in a dengue crisis just the same it's not as bad as it was a year or so ago or a few months ago but it's still around don't forget about dengue you understand he the warning see and it's this lady that talked to me about it yeah man um with another coronavirus outbreak at the forefront another deadly virus has been put on the back burner dengue Last year, there were 67 dengue-related deaths in Jamaica. That is still more than the coronavirus so far, you know. Seeing it's just that the fatality rate with the corona is far greater. Hmm? Addressing the monthly sitting of the Manchester Municipal Corporation on Thursday, Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Dr. Nadine Williams, it's good to see how Williams is doing good things, see? said vector control is ongoing, to search and destroy mosquito breeding sites in communities. That is good. We don't want to forget dengue and we continue our work in the communities through our vector control workers and we continue to search and destroy educational sessions and we continue fogging schedules, she said. We are now having only one or two cases per week of dengue fever, so we are really back down to our baseline. But that doesn't mean that we are going to be complacent. We know that by June or thereabout, it is usually the time we start to see the dengue cases going back up, she said. She is imploring residents to be vigilant in destroying mosquito breeding sites. We have to continue to search and destroy mosquitoes, mosquito breeding sites in and around our homes and take precautions so that we aren't infected with dengue fever. Um, God forbid we have another dengue outbreak amidst this corona situation. And spare a thought for my thoughts in wondering how dangerous an outbreak of the dengue and the symptoms that comes with same would be in relation to somebody having dengue and then contracting the coronavirus so let us continue to be vigilant seeing it is good that most of will lock off you know so let's mask it or bite and them something eh? seeing um wow just just a thought in my mind um yeah seeing big up to the people when it's a forward in if you're there for the first time well forward to the thing you know what i mean yeah, man, big up to the regular people. Them. The moderators, big up on yourself. So, um, peace, please continue to be vigilant. Um, dengue is not something that has disappeared. It is, unfortunately, still around. And we do not want to be dealing with another dengue outbreak amid this corona situation. Yeah? Yeah, man. Now, the curfew order was modified for the Easter weekend. And from 3 p.m. today, all persons were instructed to be inside their homes. Nobody should be on the street unless you are a part of the essential services or you have been exempted as per the exemption list. And the police are urging compliance with the extended curfew. Hmm? So with just a short while before the extended curfew takes effect, the police say they will be going all out to ensure that persons comply with the restrictions. 
So Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Corporate Communications Unit, said there is need for compliance with the curfew order, which is part of the measures to limit the spread of the virus. So the Prime Minister announced that from today, Good Friday to Easter Monday, the daily curfew will begin at 3 p.m. and end at 7 a.m. the next morning. I'll say that again. As of today, Good Friday, the 10th of April 2020, the curfew will begin, commence, start at 3 p.m. and end at 7 a.m. the next morning. SSP Lindsay said the police will take the necessary enforcement steps, but would prefer if persons realize the importance of the rules and comply voluntarily. We want persons to understand that all the measures that are being put in place, it is very little about the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the enforcement. It is much to do about health. So for that reason, we are hoping for, what we are hoping for is that people will comply, not give us a lot of trouble. So we don't have to arrest a lot of people. We don't have to be out there with the cat and mouse game. She said. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Because for some people, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Them people are never in it. So it's just a, a youth pants bike and it's a bike story. Three bikers arrested for a breaching curfew order and more in Old Darbor. So three men were charged for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act and Road Traffic Acts in the Old Darbor Police area of St. Catherine amid the nightly curfew. Hmm? They are Orville Wilkie, a 30-year-old mechanic of Church Pen District, Roderick Webby, 19 years old of Grove Farm District in St. Catherine, DeAndre Jackson, 18 year old, 18 year old of Gutters District in um, Old Arbor, St. Catherine. So, reports are that about 9 pm, the men were found riding motorcycles. Them said driving, but if you may ride a ride motorcycle, yeah, man, riding motorcycles in the Old Arbor Glades area where police officers signal the drivers of the vehicles to stop. The riders disobeyed the instruction and drove away but were subsequently intercepted in the nearby Churchmen community where they were arrested. Two motorcycles without registration, fitness or insurance were seized. The men have been offered bail. You see, the man them not for out of road. One, the man them decide for go out of road. Knowing fully well, so they bite them no license, them not have no insurance and they not have no fitness. Let me tell us something wrong with you. Know? Something is wrong with us. You understand? But tonight, I'm leaving in a mood for us. See? Yeah, man. Mm. Some say a man make it because the world is more for wreck it. <laughs> Some say a biological warfare. Some say logical because God is near. But my youth, I'm going to tell you the truth. Me I say it's a man where they drink some bad soup. Zin? Um, yeah, peeps. It has been said, explained, written, that the coronavirus or rat bats is a host of the coronavirus. Or the strain that is currently wreaking havoc around the world. And in the point that I did, Trying to be creative, I would have made reference to the to the bad situation um in that the whole works, yeah? Marlon Brandish, blessings. Now, a part of the discussion among some people, including Jamaicans, is that say one way of getting rid of the coronavirus is to get rid of all rat bats. <laughs> like me just find that funny still but I tell a lie yeah sir yeah man Mario Morgan blessings <laughs> leave the bats alone says the Jamaican Environmental Trust so the Jamaican Environment Trust Jet is seeking to clarify the important role 
played by bats in the environmental cycle, following reports that the dreaded COVID-19 originated from the consumption of the nocturnal creature. Yeah, man, I tell her something. I did done here. Says a man with drink some bat soup. See? Scientists suspect that the virus was transmitted from a wild animal via a reservoir or intermediate host to humans. See? So, I can't bother explain that. You know, go figure that out. As was the case with Ebola, SARS, and bird flu epidemics. Responding to suggestions that eliminating bats may strike a blow in restricting the spread of the virus, the Trust has sought the advice of Dr. Susan um, Koying, I think Koying, 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 Koying. Ah, yeah, that may work with it. It's got another bad sound. Koying. Dr. Susan Koying at Windsor Research Center, who has been studying bats in the cockpit country for many years. Following reports that the COVID-19 virus originated in bats, a few people have asked us, shouldn't we just get rid of all the bats? Hmm. And our short answer is no. Bats are important pollinators and control mosquito populations. And their guana or dung or feces makes fantastic fertilizer. Zane also makeup. Face powder, one face powder. Ladies, go do the research. Some of them face powder they wanna use bat droppings in it. Some of them. I can't tell you which one off the top of my head, but this is something that I know for a fact. Being somebody who is a teacher of geography and environmental studies. Yeah? So, watch your face, D. Yeah, sir. You know, I'm not going to go to bat and. and but do they run down in on the yai. You understand? Know Alright, enough of that. <laughs> Why? Mm. Alright, I could, could continue. I try for a little energy in the night. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, Jet quoted Koying as explaining that there is currently no evidence that COVID-19 came from a direct interaction between you between a human and a bat so there's nothing confirming them just them there say some things and you understand yes yeah, so ladies you know your face powder business day you know what i mean natural thing we see in a minute eh, rat bat so wild animals like bats often carry viruses which don't make them sick under normal circumstances these viruses are unlikely to be transmitted to other species but disturbing the habitat of wild animals and or bring them into direct contact with domestic animals and human populations can lead to a spillover of these viruses. That is, passing off a virus from one species to another. So it would have jumped species. So when this happens, viruses from wild animals are typically transmitted to domestic animals first before they are transmitted to humans. As the virus moves from one host to another, it changes and can impact each species differently. So, a virus which does not make a wild animal sick could lead to critical illness in domestic animals or humans. This is what scientists think may have happened in the case of the COVID-19. Koying also explained that Jamaican bats have been isolated in Jamaica for tens of thousands of years and are therefore extremely unlikely to be harboring a range of diverse viruses, which could potentially spill over to other species, including humans. Mm. <sighs> yes, I am. Um, WD Wizard, big up yourself. You see him? Auntie. Now, peeps, when I next situation with the COVID-19 thing, you see, is... You know, normally when people are sick and they know that their mortality is, is, is waning, Zane, people like to get family members around them and, and people like to, 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 to transition with family members and friends around them. Yeah? Now, with the coronavirus situation, with over 100,000 people dying globally so far, Almost all of those persons have died alone. Well, the ones that die in hospital. Without 
far removed from the presence of their family and friends because the moment you are diagnosed as a confirmed case of the coronavirus, you are isolated. So many of these persons have died alone and lonely. Um, just speaking last night to, 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 to Samuel and um, Kevin, just isolating yourself is, is, a, is a challenge. So imagine you are placed definitively in isolation, mandatorily. And um, no family is allowed to see you. No friends are allowed to visit you. That must be rough. And then for those persons who have died, majority of them had, has died alone, have died alone. And the funeral procedures and protocols around the world are very restrictive. So this is a rough time. You understand? So noted psychologist, he is a psychologist, I think he is that, um, Dr. Lakem Simaj has sought to address the situation. See? And, and give his own clinical advice as to how you go about treating with this virus. It's rough. You understand? You can imagine in our hospital, can't breathe and not even your wife or your husband for all your honor or rub your forehead or tell up something even though it might not save you. But at least money did it. You understand? Mm. Now, death and COVID-19, how to find closure when a loved one dies alone. Wow, that is in itself is so scary, yeah? The novel coronavirus has changed life in many ways, including how we grieve, the loss of a loved one, or celebrate what should be a happy occasion, such as a wedding. With the infectious nature of the contagion, persons stricken by the respiratory, respiratory virus are not allowed visitors while they are hospitalized. It means that at a time when individuals need family support the most, they are left to fight the potentially life-threatening illness alone. In fact, thousands are dying alone each day. To make matters worse, many families are denied the opportunity to conduct a proper funeral for their loved ones because of restrictive rules being implemented by governments all over the world as part of measures to contain the virus. And with borders closed, it means family and friends cannot travel for the occasion. Renowned psychologist Dr. Lakem Simash is offering advice as to how persons whose loved ones are afflicted by COVID-19 or who may have succumbed to the disease can grieve, thus finding some amount of closure at a moment, at a most difficult time. With the COVID-19 outbreak, Simaj admitted it is harder to get closure as any kind of consolation usually involves hugging, holding, and just being silent with each other. Things like Zoom and Skype are encouraging people to use digital media to be able to see the persons physically and to talk to them. But it is not the same thing as physically being there. Simaj pointed out that some funeral homes in the United States have made arrangements whereby they allow a limited number of people to congregate for the funeral and then they broadcast a service via Skype or Zoom so you can stay outside in an area where you are properly socially distant and you can share in the service. The highly respected psychologist noted that with some things we need the collective vibe. For example, sports. As a lot of people don't like to watch sports alone. So that is why we go to sports bar or your Britain's house. A celebration is something we do with somebody else, Simard said. Also, in times of grief, you need people around you. So yes, it is going to be hard for people to cope and for them to get closure. Especially if there is death. That is understandable and they may have to even do it later on. Eh? So... The person may be buried and you have to do this Thanksgiving service when everything balancing back. Um, you hold on for now, but then later when things are better, you come together and you have a remembrance. You do something to celebrate the life of the person later on. He said the same is true for marriages, as it is not necessary to postpone one's wedding due to the coronavirus pandemic. As a couple, a witness and a marriage officer 
are enough to proceed with the ceremony. So you can go ahead with the wedding and you will have the celebration later on when everything is back to or as close to normal as possible. Simaj concluded. Yeah, peeps. Um, boy, it's rough. You understand? Whichever way you look for it, rough. Mm. Foreign national gone missing in St. Anne. So 31-year-old Ronigo Misik of a Turks and Caicos Island address who was staying in Walker's Wood, Monique, St. Anne, has been missing since Thursday, the 2nd of April. <sighs> he is of dark complexion, slim bill, and is about 170 centimeters or 5 feet 7 inches tall. Reports from the Monique police are that Missick was last seen in Monique wearing a black t-shirt, blue jeans, and black shoes. All efforts to locate him since then have been unsuccessful. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Ronigo Missick is being asked to contact the Monique police at 876-973-0451, the police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. Yeah? Um, so, if we don't know the general, they would have link up the five also. See? Police sergeant dies suddenly in Mandeville. Wow. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, I'm going to finish with the coronavirus situation. Right now. I'll speak some more about it near to the end, where sex workers are also asking for a government bailout and speaking some more about the whole act of having sex during this time. You understand? Do the right thing. Yeah, hear me, Bridget? No bother with the close contacts in thing. Kissing and sex. That might have a rest. You know it hard, but you have to try your best. <laughs> All right. For a serious level, you know, peeps. The poli police sergeant dies suddenly in Mandible. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is mourning the sudden passing of a police sergeant in Mandible, Manchester, on Tuesday. Reports are that Sergeant Garfield Morgan was found unresponsive on the grounds of the Mandeville Police Station on Tuesday morning. Wow. He was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead. The cause of death is... Well, that's not been confirmed. See? Hold on the peeps. Before I go any further, I'm going to take off condolences to the, fo to the family of Sergeant Morgan. Um, and may his soul rest in peace. Yes, and one more productive member of the society that will lose, you know. Zane. Before I forget the coronavirus situation, I have not read the article, but I saw the headline. Zane, I have to go search it and read it tomorrow. You understand? Um, there's a report. I'm not sure who conducted said report. Zane, but the report is suggesting that based on research and analysis of the fatalities surrounding the coronavirus situation globally, overweight individuals and males are being affected more than anybody else. I mean, aside from the elderly, that is. So it is suggesting that persons who are overweight and males, I'm not sure why males are more susceptible because I've not read the article as yet. But may I throw that out there? I'll definitely try to familiarize myself with the study so we can discuss it a little more Sunday evening because it's an important development that you know. You understand? It's an important development. And I like say so you can lose all your weight overnight, you know. But uh, we have to, we have to try as best as possible. Right now, me overweight in my estimation. You see, I have been what I last time I pledged Say, me I wake up this morning, got drag. When I wake up this morning, I just feel exhausted. So I never bother with it. You understand? I've been trying to clean up my my diet again. And them something. There. Um trying to cut out back sugar and salt and most form of grease and them something. There. And thing works like I'm not really work out like that. I've been trying to re implement my home workout regime. See, but sometimes I just I don't know. I don't know yeah, sir. See? I'd love to see that article. Yes, yeah, Sean. I'm going to find it. See, I, I think it was either South Korea or Singapore. One of them two places. 
You understand? One of them two places there. I'm not sure, but I'm going to find it. But I know I'm going to glimpse it somewhere. So I just did want to share that. Um, so it is important that we try as best as possible to, you know what I mean, if we know with BMI is, is not in keeping with health standards, which is your body mass index, which is your weight compared to your height, then you need for try a balance thing. Then what's like over there we had now, wake up a morning time, we do some skipping, go do some jogging, do some push-ups, some sit-ups, some crunches, some plank, something, sweat. Keep your heart rate up. You understand? Um, me need to follow my own advice still. But um, I still can't share it. See? And thing, I know we're there we had. Lock up. I just have name down in place. So you know it thing go. See? Um, more inch on the waist. You see me? Yeah, man. I'm more fat on the face. So you know it thing go. Javon! Brother. Big up yourself, sir. It is good to see you, sir. I hope you and the family. All right. First and foremost. And on your stay, sir, brother. You is a moderator. And uh, brother, about three years now, I'm going to see you over here. I'm going to cuss you. You understand? Yeah, man. You are still my brother here, but my youth, you have to do better, man. But hope your family are right still. Should I link you differently, but I have to cuss you in a public. Sure. All right. I want to help me cuss him to peeps, guys. Sure. Four Clarendon men missing. Families are hopeful for a safe return. You see me? <laughs> God, you see a lie. Residents of Rocky Point and Racecourse in Clarendon are holding on to hope as they intensify their search to locate four men who have been missing since Tuesday. Missing are 40-year-old Kavan Graham, a business operator, and 30-year-old taxi operator Omar Bennett, both of Rocky Point, as well as 33-year-old Ricardo Matra, Matra, a sound system operator and 40 year old Roy Hamilton, both of Longwood in race course. Hmm? Information from the police's corporate communications unit is that Bennett and Graham left Rocky Point for Portmore St. Catherine about 9.30 a.m. Bennett's brother, Anthony Spence, said that it is unlike his brother to leave home and not make contact. Nevertheless, he says the family is remaining positive about his return. He disclosed that his brother's Toyota Fila motor car was found in St. Catherine on Wednesday afternoon. Wow. Meanwhile, information from the Lionel Town police is that about 11 a.m., Mathra and Hamilton left Hayes in Newtown in the parish for a business in Kingston in a Toyota Mark X motor vehicle. They have not been seen or heard from since Tuesday. Relatives say it is not unusual for the good friends to travel outside the parish for business. Mathra's partner, Samantha Kisko, said that the situation has left many traumatized, including their six-year-old child. We can't get any answers, so it is very devastating for the family at this time. We have hope and we are waiting for our good news. The entire community of Rocky is also saddened by the situation, she said. He said... He was going to town, but he never saw where exactly. Right now, everybody just said. She says the family's ordeal has been compounded by false allegations that are being circulated. I don't know the false allegations. Nobody asked me. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Kavan Graham, Omar Bennett, Ricardo Mathra, and Roy Hamilton are being asked to contact the Lionel Town Police at 876-986-3233 or the police 119 emergency number. Or the nearest police station. You understand? Mm. Apple cider said, teeth. this is not the time to be eating hog meat. <laughs> okay, sir. That's the error. So, peeps, one of them time in the week when my stream, I spoke about the situation surrounding former PNP councillor, now turned JLP councillor, Zina of the Trafalgar Division, Carrie Douglas, who was arrested and charged for under the Disaster Risk Management Act for violating the curfew order. Um, she's supposed to be exempt. And, well, men don't know. Yes, and, but some only people look at things. The police, some of our concerns bring, say, Steve McGregor would have interfered and said the commissioner sent him one whole brouhaha. So they are trying to provide a local context. The commissioner saying, I know nothing about it. If they even know them. Yes, and, and them look at things. So, I'm saying, I can't find two pictures in a dance, you know. 
Mm, yeah. Police commissioner did not interfere with Douglas arrest, says the corporate communications unit. So the hierarchy of the Jamaica Constabulary Force has refuted any allegation that Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson sent a senior officer to intervene in the arrest of Councillor Carrie Douglas. Douglas was arrested and charged on Tuesday night for breaches, as I said, of the Disaster Risk Management Act and disorderly conduct. After being accused of breaching the curfew order implemented in response to the growing COVID-19 crisis across the island. However, police officers at the Constant Spring Police Station claimed Senior Superintendent of Police, Steve McGregor, attempted to intervene in the investigation under what he said were the instructions of Anderson. Head of the Constable's Corporate Communications Unit, Stephanie Lindsay, has rubbished the allegation. It is not the practice of Major General Anderson to interfere with his officers and the work that they do. He allows them to carry out their functions based on how they make their own assessments, SSP Lindsay said in an audio clip released by the CCO. I not got it still, but me listening. There's also something that I want to state categorically because it came up and has been part of discussions that it was the Commissioner of Police who asked Stephen McGregor, Steve McGregor to intervene and I want to categorically state that is not the case, said Lindsay. In fact, the CCU had disclosed that the police commissioner only became aware of the incident on Wednesday morning. He did not know about it until he was briefed the following morning. So I just want to state, I just want to state clearly, my eyes and feel weak, that the office, um, that the police commissioner owes does not want to convey in any way whatsoever that he is interfering with police officers carrying out their duties. So even if someone had gone there saying it was a commissioner, they were acting on behalf of. It would not be the f a factual statement, said Lindsay. So Douglas was arrested and charged by members of the Constant Spring Police for failing to produce an identification. Zane, SSP Lindsay said SSP McGregor had intervened in an attempt seemingly to verify the counselor's identity. I understand that Senior Superintendent Steve McGregor did intervene in the process. Based on the discussions I had with the parties involved internally, it would appear that, in the first instance, they had some issue with identification. So someone reached out to Mr. McGregor to find out if he could touch base to verify that she is in fact the counselor because I think part of the initial problem was that she did not have an identification and the police officers did not know who she was, the CCU editor. But may I ask a question? Why of all the persons in the world to try ID carry, the call was made to Steve McGregor? This is just one question we didn't love you know. You understand? Of all the people in the car, so why they never call Peter Phillips, or Peter Bunting, or Anjo, or somebody else, knowing she had did PNP or they know she had liberal. You understand why she never call them? Zin, I call the mayor, and the mayor say mayor go and then I look for him. And the deputy mayor, and then I look for him neither. And the town clerk, and him worse. So I don't know still. I don't know if carry or nobody in her purse, or worse. But never mind. Based on the discussions with Mr. McGregor, he said when he made that initial call, based on what he heard in the background, he felt as a senior official to go there to see what was happening. When he went there and heard what was happening, he intervened in the situation, pacified the situation. I understand by then, other members of the council, which is the municipal corporation, turned up at the station. So in order to get things done orderly, he made some recommendations. Ensure that the, pol the process went through and she was charged and offered bail. And that matter was resolved, said Lindsay. So Douglas is to appear in the halfway tree parish court on the 6th of May this year. See him? Yeah! Yeah. Boy, I don't know, Rasta. I don't know. I would have made some noise, but made her hurt me. Yeah, you know, my head not small enough, so my head ain't not small enough, you know, I can't go deal with one right now. Now, the man of the moment, when in doubt, seek champagne out. <laughs>
Peter Champigny will become the wealthiest man in Jamaica not so long from now. Big up Peter. Me I want to sit down and hold with Peter one day. I want him formula. You understand? Because then he want him to go back and come back with the formula. Now him have everybody. You understand what I say? So we don't want to know his story and why he become a liar and why he normally win. You understand? Zine. Oh! Peter Champigny will become one of the wealthiest men in the country not long from. Yo! He man have case for cases. You understand? Zin? You don't forgot why I've scarred tell that, brother. The man have case for cases. You see me? Peter Sham, you see, we have a lot of big name lawyers in the country, you know. The KD, KD is still superstar still. KD is still superstar. But you have them, you have them Bert Summers and them Tom Tavares Fins and them Valerie Nita Robbins and them Christopher Townsend and them Dan Foot and them all sorts of people. But the reality is that the go-to man based on current history is Peter Champigny. Right now, it looks like if Peter can't get you off, you can't come off. If Peter defend you, you can't get where you're, 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 you're guilty. You yeah, understand? Because all when you're guilty, most of the time, him technicalities in use and beat you. You yeah, understand? Him bad. Him bad. Mm. Carrie Douglas retains attorney Peter Champigny for a court fight. No, this sounds serious. You know, you know, retain. You know, retain. Champigny for your local curfew violation order. Me no know. You yeah, understand? Because Champigny, me no think come cheap. See, I kind of observe a little thing about Champigny from recently. I don't no see nobody has said it. I don't want to say it. And, 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 and not no go so. I mean, I like to ask the man first. I kind of see Champigny in a one local circles of late. Where he want to look like Champigny, probably attesting political fate. That's all I say. I don't want nobody to tell nobody say Mr. Champigny is a politician and Champigny is a dirty color or a decent color. I just say, recently, I say a few moves where look like him are getting at the political groove. I don't call my name. Go see man a bad liar. You understand? And time for them sitting there. See, <laughs> trivia and spite, dig up yourself, brother, brother. I appreciate this, the, 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 the support of the contribution. You hear, sir? Yeah, man. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised and, and write it down, you know, but I said, no, call me name. I wouldn't be surprised if a year or two from now, um, or a few from now, Peter Champigny declares himself as somebody who is seeking political office. I said, oh, no, call me name. Zin, I know no one me tell you no which party, but you not call me name. Alright. Next thing. I make sure I'll cut out the part I see now I'm done. Cause I don't want to call me name you now. <laughs> yeah, but I just go and watch and see what I go on. Because no Peter, I don't got no liar training now, but I see things. You understand? I don't want to tell nobody where I see still. See? Mm, I don't want nobody to call me name. I'm telling you for now. Trafalgar Division Councillor Cary Douglas, who recently switched allegiance from the Opposition People's National Party. May I have one question, hold on. To the governing Jamaica Labour Party, has retained the services of Attorney Peter Champigny, Queen's Council, as she moves to clear her name of allegations that she breached a curfew order under the Disaster Risk Management Act and behaved disorderly in the process. May I have one question? Kari, bone of contention, Zin, Shan, Shan, leave me alone. Kari's bone of contention is that she did not see any possibility of progress supporting Peter Phillips and she would have thrown her support behind Bunting, Zin, Phillips win. So she claims that they must slight her and she cross. Go over the Jamaica Labour Party. No. Should Peter F should Peter Bunting become the president of the People's National Party one day? Because we soon talk about Peter Phillips, you know, because he is dealing with something very serious. Zin? 
if Peter Bunting should ever become president of the People's National Party, would Curry Douglas then left the JLP and go back over PNP? Me just ask, me just think out loud. You understand? See? Apple side, I say I'm not JLP ish. <laughs> Are we answer <laughs> that, brother? No, alright, so my question was Curry up there now. Champagne confirmed the move and said he is committed to having the issue ventilated in court when the case is called up in May. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't know the whole situation about Car. You understand? But she denied the reports of misconduct on her part and has stressed that as a council of the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, she is exempted from the curfew order. The police allege that the council failed to identify herself satisfactorily. Satisfactorily. Yeah? Yeah, that word there. With Douglas acknowledging that she presented a driver's license as an identification and she did not have the KSAMC identification on her person. But Miss Douglas, the Prime Minister said, all of the people them who are work or get exemption, you would have gotten the exemption and were instructed to use a particular ID. So if you know you're going to be out on the street, then why you ain't got the ID there? But alright, maybe that's a ask two question. See? Douglas pointed to an April 1 order which exempted councillors and mayors from prosecution of breaching the curfew order. And thing. So she was taken to the Constant Spring Police Station where she was subsequently charged for breaching the curfew order and the disaster. You know what I mean? So in a statement following the incident, Douglas said she was accosted by the police while she was on her way home shortly after delivering care packages to the elderly in the Trafalgar Division in St. Andrew. She said she was charged despite the chairman of the KSAMC, Mayor Delroy Williams, and a senior member of the police force, a Steve McGregor, we know I keep my secret around here, so, personally attending this, the station and confirming her identity as a counselor of the KSAMC, who is exempt from the curfew order. We're going to talk about champagne again later, because some local things are going on. Mm. What can I do? I don't know. Let me look back on her again. Let me see. Let me, let me see. I can't see nothing on her. Wait. She, let me look on her. It's what I'm to. I don't know. I don't know, Rasta. Danny says she's single. I couldn't tell you. I mean, she have a young child. Because she nearly mashed up the whole of Bustamante Hospital a few months ago. Because... She carry you go up there say, with dengue symptoms and then they uh, treat him immediately and she lock up nurse in her room and some shoving match go on and all sorts of things. Police come in and hospital lockdown and all manner some things. You understand? And some things. I, mean, I don't know. Why I me mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know? I don't know. I don't know, Star. I don't know. And carry father, what's that trouble me okay, you know? You understand? When I was growing up, I see Eastern Douglas on my TV. Eastern Douglas didn't even talk loud. You understand? I never remember Eastern Douglas shouting in the parliament one day yet. So, as good as her mother. I mean, I know. You see me? Mm. So, I'm going to move on, you see so what Kari up to. Kari Jaffe, the go-to man. Champagne. I wonder how much Champagne retain a fee about what? Kai can't cheat. Because he's the most sought after lawyer now. She looks nice, don't it? Scary, leave me alone. Me had me know you did ask me that. You understand? Mm. Yeah, man. I want to leave me out. See me. Right now, Kari says she never go in. She out her door. You understand? And she never go into that. You understand? All right. Rose say about one mil. Uh, well. The amount of one mil them on the calica week time. <laughs> Boom, bad star. Jaja. Boy, when you go to school, I'm mean, always with champion. I work, the man who works, you know, when you go to school and you pursue a particular um, course of study, you do so with the intention of becoming the best at what you do. And Peter Champigny, if he's not the best yet, he's not that far from it. You understand? Mmm. We well, a carry the female virgin, virgin, of, virgin of Warmington. Make, you see the question, people, that means they man ask. I don't know, sir. You understand? I don't know, 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 I don't know
But me no want to see them, they can't trick me. Man chops cousin on head after request for a food item not met. Mm. A 49 year old Mason, Ian McDonald, otherwise called Ricky, of Parkville, or no, 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 of Prattville district in Asia, Manchester, was arrested and charged on Sunday, the 4th of April, with the offense of wounding with intent that was allegedly committed in his community. Reports from the Asia police are that about are that on Wednesday, April 1st, all fools day. Yeah, I mean, I know. At about 3 p.m., McDonald went to the house of a cousin of his and asked the relative for a food item. Well, for a food item. The male relative reportedly failed to assist McDonald, and the now accused man allegedly responded by using a machete to chop the cousin on his head. The police were summoned and the complainant was taken to hospital where he was treated and later released. Oh, I don't know, big chop. Oh, thank God for that. McDonald was arrested and subsequently charged and is scheduled to appear in the Manchester Parish Court in Mandeville on Wednesday, April 29. Farmer hmm. who broke my nose with stick in Aki dispute charge. The police have charged a farmer who reportedly used a walking stick to break a man's nose during a dispute over Akins in a St. Mary community last week. I said that my nose that hurt me, brother. Charged with assault occasion in grievous bodily harm is 57 year old is a all time, you know? Howard Allen, alias Howie, of Islington in the parish. Reports are that on Wednesday, the 1st of April. All fools, they are getting in but boy, I mean, I know. I set them, set them up on the day, you know? About 7.30 a.m., Allen allegedly used a walking stick to hit the now male complainant during a dispute. The police were alerted and the complainant, who sustained a broken nose and other injuries, the man beat him with a walking stick, <laughs> was transported to therapy <laughs> to a hospital where he was admitted for treatment. That's so much like can get out of walking stick. I want me to walking stick there. Eh? Teach them it is going to be Miss Douglas versus Miss Lisa Anna. What do you mean? For what? When? Why? Oh! Following a probe, the police said Allen was charged on Saturday. He is scheduled to appear and they sent me a story I sent me missing on May 14th. Tell me what, why, why there was an Akiwar where left man with scar and him nose almost dropped on the tar. You understand? It's over Aki tree. It's what make the walking stick. It's how one man turn up and take so much lick. I have a lot of questions. If I was a judge, I would ask them some questions. When they don't know if you bother one of the kids, I just be like, I mean, I said, brother, brother, then, then, it's a hoof of hockey tree. It's that me want to know, first and foremost. You understand? And if it's not your hockey tree, then where you go for a man hockey tree for? But then, sir, still, it's what make the walking stick there. And next thing, sir, why you stand up and take so much lick, sir? That your nose broke and you have a lot of other injuries. Then, a man couldn't have beat me with a sick and he missed 57. Oh, a 57 year old man, I go run me down and beat me with a walking stick. If man, if a man walk with a walking stick, well, I mean, I know, me confused. I mean, <laughs> 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 me have too much question for that one case, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I say, I got too much question. Because if a man walk with a walking stick, how am I going to use it and beat me? Me not understand that. Yeah, you understand? Know, Where's that a walking stick? is a beat stick. <laughs> Where's the all fools there? I don't know, brother. I have to take in teeth. I'm glad so nobody not dead still. Because as good as a cutlass. Zane. Where's so all the age badness? Trimian, what you want, bro? I could have one cutlass the whole time I did use. And we didn't have a different discussion. You know? I'm glad it's a walking stick. But a walking stick there look like a sitting different. Make it. it boy, I don't know. He man admitted in the hospital. You know, with broken nose and other things. Broken. Bruce ego and. You understand? All sort of something. You understand? All in pride mashup. Then, why I don't know. Yeah, make we see what I go on. I go ahead and follow that case. I would ask some questions in a quote. Everybody would then start laughing. I'll tell you. <laughs> but my glad say, as well, that ends well, yeah, sir. Because it could be a murder we are talking about. So, you have to give thanks. You understand? Yeah, man. You better walk in stick than a cut list. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. Ah, boy. All right, peace. I some serious things, I know. So, but why pop a smile on my face? Hmm.
Man charged with gun slings after vehicle collision offered bail. You hear that? So accident go on and, and instead a man work out the accident and call the police man jar for them peace. See? A man who was on the run. Uh, you know sitting around with the Aki. Cause I see man got prison for about two Aki one time. I see man beat up man for Aki. I see man broke man nose for Aki. Right, look here. You say if I hear Aki tree, and right now if I hear Aki tree, you have to be careful how you pick it. Because I'm not good as one worry over your Aki. Sitting around with Aki. Yeah, right now. Sitting around with Aki too. They said they said sitting upon Aki. They don't look upon it. You understand? Know sitting around. They can't tell me nothing, man. Every time you about Aki, something smarty get beat up or sitting. Man gone to jail or then sit there. I don't know, sir. Eh. I just a left road and I'm dead. Right, brother, you should have left a long time and I'm off work I come from I have an idea because you know, then you know what I think of. But big up yourself, reach home see. You yeah, understand? Aki I problem. Me not tell you eh, eh, Aki, something wrong with it. Mm. Yeah, look into it. Aki cast, I cast too much things. You see me? Yeah. Teach me now, pick no Aki, not even a my yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So what you know? A man who was on the run for reportedly shooting dead two men with whom he had been involved in a vehicle collision along a road in St. Thomas last year has been granted bail in court. Don't you find me still in this man and I get no bail in him? I tell you the truth. You know. Garfield Gred, Gredori then uh, why am I not? G-R-E-D-O-R-Y that that can't pronounce it that way. Gridori. Gridori. Garfield G. A resident of Landui, St. Thomas, was charged with two counts of murder and one count of illegal possession of firearm. He was afforded bail in the sum of $800,000 when he appeared in the St. Thomas Parish Court recently. As a condition of his bail, he is to reside outside the parish. The case is to be mentioned again on the 1st of July. Gridori who was on the run from December last year, surrendered in February and was subsequently charged with the killing of the two men. It was reported that on December 19, the victims, Marlon Sims, a 43-year-old resident of Albion, and a man only identified as Piper, of 11 Miles Bull Bay, both in St. Thomas, were killed in an encounter after an alleged collision with Gregory. The police had reported that Sims and Piper, along with a woman, went to the easing went to Easington in the parish after the vehicle they were in was involved in a collision with another vehicle, reportedly driven by Gregory. He had reportedly invited the two men and the woman to discuss to discuss a settlement for damages in the police station. Me now go discuss no accidenting and no man yard. You understand? You have to be an idiot. They were, however, reportedly ambushed and the two men were killed by unknown assailants who fled the scene thereafter. The woman was not armed and Gregory, who was identified as a suspect, went into hiding following the shooting incident. Boy, I tell you. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Jaja. Brother, if police not come on accident scene, we are going to station. Argument done. You see me? You have to go ambush me on the way around there. I am going to see you there. Me, if you come, come discuss settlement. You're an insurance company. You are my insurance company. Where man going here, man? Three shot. Two fatal as gunmen wreak havoc in downtown Kingston. Three people were shot, two fatally by a gunman within only a few hours in three separate sections of downtown Kingston over the weekend were gone. You see? Me leave her go woman yard, much less a go man yard. More no easy. Man go on here, man. The attacks all took place within the large market districts. District. So the fatal victims have been identified as Huntley, Heyman, Hyman. A 49 year old handcart maker of Rose Lane. Jermaine Pottinger, a fish vendor of Charles Street. The other man has been who has been injured is in hospital. In the first incident about 9.24 a.m., I think this was Sunday, Oxford at Oxford Market, persons doing business there heard explosions and called the police. 
a team of officers responded and the body of Hyman was found on the ground. He was rushed to hospital where he was pronounced dead. See? In another incident in the vicinity of Haywood Street and West Street at about 12.22 p.m., Pottinger was reportedly standing on the side of the road when a lone gunman walked up to him and shot him in the head. Whoa! The man then fled the scene. The police were called to the area and while investigators were at the scene, their colleagues were called to Blunt Street where there were reports of another shooting. So reports are that a man was attacked and, attacked and shot by unknown assailants. He was rushed to hospital and was undergoing treatment up to Sunday night. So all these incidents occur. So you know, we're not doing no extra class streaming since then. So let me know the info kind of look a bit late, but you know what I'm about. You see? Him? And we not justify the idiot when I custody, you know. We not no justification, you know. But me, I say, you know, accident, Zane. You know, make a man call in and we go, sup, go second up the man. You got the police station, man, and make the insurance company them deal with that. You understand? I deal with it through the police, brother. You understand? So, in a, in a, in a retrospect, the man them wrong for God, eh? And the idiot, we're in a custody. Zane, if I him kill the man them, if he spend the rest of his life in a jail, argument done. Rubber nabbed in pink lane. Ammunition seized. So a man is now in police custody following a robbery and the seizure of five rounds of ammunition on Pink Lane in Kingston on Monday. According to the police, about 9.35 a.m., lawmen were conducting patrols in the area when they responded to a robbery. Upon their arrival, the suspects reportedly fired several shots in the direction in a bid to escape. One of the two robbers was subsequently apprehended and a magazine containing five rounds of ammunition was found in the area. The identity of the person is being withheld pending further investigation. I'm sorry to say police didn't get you all of them. You know what I'm mm. Another lane, man. You don't know what thing go? All right, peeps. <coughs> you know My eyes them weak still, but... Zane, you know, can't look in at them. The ladies, them, that is. My man, them, to look over. So. Um... Sometimes doing this YouTube thing, you come across some topic where you sit down and you medzi and you try to figure out which possible way it could have make sense. Hmm? And you think about it, sometimes you ask your brother, sometimes I call Simon and me, call Scotty and say, yo, what you think about that something? Zane? And you are trying to figure it out for days. So one of them, yeah? Put on my glass. See? Landlord stabbed to death after dog tore up tenant's shoes. Hmm. A dispute between a tenant and this landlord ended with the landlord being stabbed to death and the tenant taken into police custody. Hmm? But you see all them man out of centre man so they must kill the two man them. All they need to do is fix the man and carry if he did wrong you know. They must go find millions of dollars to pay a lawyer and then could not fix the car and everybody can about them business. But alright. Landlord stabbed to death after dog tore up tenant's shoes. You know the, the general still. Him could have linked me and me give him my shoes, you know. Call me up shoes and I'm not even wearing it, you know. You understand? See? I mean, them buy back a shoes, you general. Big man thing. If me didn't tell me, say, you know what, teach, you know, me I kill a man, I can't dog, tear up my shoes, them. Me I say, me, Jay, what kind of shoes? I mean, just make him get a shoes. Yeah? Yo. We have a shoes problem, you know, pun intended. You know, a shoes thing, you know, shoes go missing and people dead. But, you know, but never mind. The landlord's dog reportedly tore up the tenant's shoes in Lilliput, St. James. Leading to the dispute, police identified the deceased as 44-year-old 40, David Campbell of Africa District in Lilliput. You know, me know and me realize the next thing. You know, you know in Jamaica, where I'm coming to the name Africa, there'll be a problem going on there. You know, alright, never mind. I want to go that's not take me serious. But think about the Africa place in Jamaica and see what I go on. You understand? 
Reports by the Baritone Police are that about 9.30 p.m. last Saturday, an argument developed between Campbell and his 30-year-old tenant after he went to collect his rent. It is reported that the tenant presented a sum of money to his landlord for his rent, but Campbell refused it, saying that it was not the correct amount. He was then told by the tenant that the rent money was short because he had to use a portion of it to replace his pair of shoes, which was allegedly torn up by the landlord's dog recently. An argument developed and it escalated into a physical confrontation. The landlord allegedly attacked his tenant with a knife, oh, that one, but he received stab wounds to his body. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Campbell was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced dead and the tenant taken into custody. Hmm. One community member said that he knows both individuals and was aware of the dog biting up the tenant's shoes. People have a nose at time hard and him can't expect him dog to bite up the man's shoes then. And it just, just go like that without him pay back for the shoes then, the resident said. The brand and value of the shoes as well as the cost for the rent was not available at press time. The landlord now have no reason for attack the man. For one, if I saw a thing go. See it? And if a dog bite up your shoes, my G, you know, link the, the landlord and say, Family, you are going. Bruno, bite up my shoes them. And me I want back a pair of shoes. See it? And we'll take it from there. So. See it? For the landlord, if the man give him X amount of money and him no say if he get more, you know just call the police when the police rectify the thing and give the man notice and come out to your place then. Zine with him new shoes, then why problem? You understand? Yo, yo we too dark here, yeah, brother. Zine. You want sound like a self defense that thing you look like still. When you look into it still. You look like a landlord just giving life in your own yard. You see me? And it start over one dog. See me? Me I try to figure out the whole dynamics I think and me don't know what to do. Jaja. Jaja no Rasta. Hmm. Peeps, this lovely lady behind. My very large head. Formerly the vice principal at the Excelsior High School. She's now dead. Her name is Colleen Walker, 54 years old. I would have done videos on this today against my better judgment because my seminar never they got it. But then I just decided to do it. Um, I'm a camera with the murder, murder business. She's a colleague not directly I, I i don't remember if i'm meeting her but she is an educator so that makes her my colleague yeah <clears throat> wow um the trend continues i suppose where teachers have been murdered seeing um and it's not males only we saw where a female was murdered in Manchester. Her husband has been taken in custody. Well, belatedly. Um, another female here. Um, um, I don't remember there, sorry, but a male and female. And I just want one side thing. <clears throat> Excelsior High School vice principal shot dead at her home in St. Andrew. I did a video this morning using snippets of a police report and of articles posted by Loop, The Gleaner, Observer, RGR Online and Nationwide. Five newspapers. Um, <clears throat> I would have done that video before hearing a voice note purportedly done by one of her sons. And the accounts are different, Zane. But I use what was available to me at that point in time. Yeah, some of us want to make that clear because some people, why am I know? So the education community has been left stunned by the Holy Thursday murder of a vice principal of the Excelsior High School. 
54-year-old Colleen Walker was reportedly shot by a lone gunman at her home in St. Andrew. Yeah? So the articles went on to say that she was in her garden and she was approached by a lone gunman who engaged with her in a conversation, walked away, then turned back, opening fire, hitting her multiple times. That's what the papers had to say on the CCU. However, in the voice note, her son gave a different account of the situation. I would have done that video as well. Um, I think I have parts of the video here. So the people when I watch it, when I forgot to watch it, you know, cause I don't know. Something I don't know. Um thing just out here. I said I can't find the video there. I'm look today. At least I can hear the son's account. And also there was another voice note from a man who seems to be a friend of the family or one side of the family or something, something, something. So um pre this. Son of Excelsior High School Vice Principal gives a chilling account of his mother's murder. Teach them! Always make sure the message has reached them! Why me think me did cut? In a voice note currently making the rounds on social media, a male purporting to be one of the sons of Excelsior High School Vice Principal Colleen Walker is heard giving a chilling account of a series of events which led to the murder of his mother. Today was actually my, my littlest brother, my smallest brother's birthday. She went on the road to buy some stuff for him because we were going to celebrate amongst mm -hmm. herself. She came back and she was outside with my, my middle brother cleaning. Now we live in a dead end for those who know where I live. Um, so you living in a dead end, you would, you would know the cars that traverse the area on a daily basis. When you see a strange car, you take note. Now she and my little brother were outside cleaning up the yard and the car passed. He took note, she didn't because her back was turned. He said the guys were looking in the yard. Then they went to the dead end, they turned and passed back. They were driving slow and he saw them looking in the yard again. He said, by the time he said to her, Mommy, come, I don't, I don't trust the car here, come, I could go inside. And he dropped the rake. The guy, just, one of them, just jumped out of the car and just started shoot. He run, the little brother run, run inside, and she run off behind him, but like she got shot and she fell. And the man just, my little brother said, he just he turned back and said, the man just put him on over the fence mm -hmm. and just, she on the ground and just shoot her. I run off back and jump in the car and the car drive off. Me run out. But by the time me run out, them don't drive off already. I try to put pressure upon the wound. I call police, call my little brother, I don't know what to do. I hold her head, I don't know what I do. She was breathing, she was breathing, and police came. The police came relatively quickly still. They came within like, them came less than five minutes. I guess they were probably close. They lift her up, put her in the van, and them drive off with her. And pronounce her dead at the hospital. There is also another voice note during the rounds on social media with a male who seems very familiar with the family and some of the details surrounding the unfortunate incident. This is what he had to say. Yeah, so she live at Queensboro, right? She have three youth. The middle one is a med student, a third year med student at UA. The youngest one, to the birthday. She is the sister of former Jamaica cricketer, Wayne Lewis. We tell me, say the young son come by him house to then him buy pizza and him celebrate to the youth and tell the youth say go home and the youth go home. The youth and the mother in the garden, I her rake up and a chip and water and thing. A car drive past on the road, but a dead end them live so the car drive past the house and go up and turn. The youth has a team that me could go in and by the time because say so, some shots come from a shot come from the car. So them are run and she the youth must go escape and go in the house. She drop. And one of the boys come out and pump six shots, six shots to get another dog. Police M car go KPH. So the big son now, he was inside, him drive fair car behind the police M car. And, and go down there. 
And then she dead must be about 30 minutes later, brother. Three youth. One of them are celebrating birthday today. He probably looks so look forward to something from his mother tonight. That joke, dog. Hmm. 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 Motive, I have no idea. Um, it could be a number of things. I am not one to speculate. We'll see what the investigation and the investigators come up with. Um, really and truly sad. You understand? Really and truly sad. So let's see what the investigators have to say. Um, condolences to the family, friends, colleagues, associates of Miss Colleen Walker. Zane, and hopefully investigation will lead to the arrest, charge, trial, conviction of the persons responsible. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, mean, I guess persons have been theorizing stuff and saying stuff. I am in no position to speak to any of those. Um, sad. Tired of the foolishness. If I know one thing, I next Rasta. Zane, um, Corona kill we off. And we are kill we off. You don't see? Respect, Craig. Uh, so a joke thing for them. For them copyright strikes, you want so. Haunted by rape. Clarendon girl never wants to return to school, says her mom. COVID-19's shuttering of school has offered respite to an emotionally scarred teen who was pulled from classes on Friday, on February 18, when she was reportedly held down by three boys who took turns sexually assaulting her. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. The teen's mother is appealing for a swift counseling for her daughter as the usually quiet child who she said is now melting away in silence. The incident, as reported at the Gleaner's article, occurred during lunchtime inside a classroom at a Clarendon High School. The child's mother has expressed disgust at the response of school officials, who she believes handled the situation poorly. The, in the identities of the child and mother have been withheld because... The alleged victim is a minor. The school and community have also not been named. And the Gleaner says our news team sat down with the mother on her veranda recently. She disclosed her frustration with official dumb. The mother denounced the school authorities, including the guidance counselor and the nurse, for not immediately alerting her to the incident and failing to take her child to see a doctor. They wait until school over to call me, and it happened at lunchtime. I had to take her to the doctor, said the mother. Wow. Adding that I have not read this article before, so this is my reaction now. Adding that the principal had since apologized for the school's inaction. She said that she took her child to see a doctor and got a medical certificate, copies of which she presented to the school and the police. The police were also accused of jacking their feet in the initial stages of the investigation. Her face, a portrait of pain. The girl's mother said that she fully understands her daughter's distress because she too was a victim of rape as a teenager. 
schools nationwide were ordered shut shortly after the first COVID-19 um, case was confirmed on the 10th of March. And classes have been called off until after the Easter holidays. You see? But the teenagers, and I can tell you friend now, said this will be extended. You understand? You know, cause a common sense to them tell us a school can open for April. Too. First thing. I don't know who could have, you know, them right, man. I don't want me to root to them. Could they call my phone and tell me if you come at work anytime near to the 21st after the 21st. Then mother forgot root to somebody, I tell you the truth. You understand? Yeah. Whether parents, staff, or you, then do you hear you yeah, mad? You may say, yeah, man, you better see all my number and leave it. Yeah. Tell you no. Know. It's probably there now. I'm a last. Yeah. Till after the Easter holidays. But the teenager is understood to be afraid of returning to school. Having been the target of jeers since the incident. Because me say you have school I call parents as a sc- because the government did say um schools will be closed until after the Easter. Zane, so some people are off the view. I don't know where they get a view from. I must say rear view, rear view. Zane, um, say school are going to open after you. I say, you know what? I make a tapi talking. Because I never give them a resignation letter. I tell her. Yeah. I must say mad. Right now, I don't go back to school till about December. That I tell them to. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. We don't know. Yes. <laughs> ah, boy. And peace, I kind of do this to try to talk that article here. Because it kind of put me in a local sad state and sad zone. <laughs> School board. <laughs> yeah, <why? sighs> I go up there on the Thursday with my daughter and the entire school come down. And they were pointing and saying, see the girl with the boy them rape. And she said, she don't want to go back. The mother said, the parent is adamant her daughter is terrified of returning to school. That fear comes amid the recent revelation by the Child Protection and Family Service Agency that there are 2,623 cases of sexual abuse against children in 2019, an increase of 276 or 12% over the previous year when compared um, the figure of the previous year was 2,347 cases, which was reported. The boy of them tell her that if she talk or anything, they might kill her. And she not talk because even some girls, she said, tell the boys to rape her. The girl's mom added. Pressed on the matter, the kind on school principal declined comment. At this point in time, I rather not say anything the principal is quoted as saying. But some residents in the area have accused the school administration of institutional secrecy that spans several years. Not spans, spans several years. That accusation was denied by the principal. I heard about the incident by my granddaughter. But that is what they always do. Try to cover up, an elderly woman said. My granddaughter, a past student, got pregnant over there when she was 15. She dropped out of school. She's now 18 with two children. So many things wrong in this article. Hmm? It's a whole heap of 15 year olds getting pregnant over there, the woman added. Charges were eventually laid. Though an investigation is still underway, the girl's mother still has concerns. Because the school never acted immediately. No rape kit was not done. The doctor only had a medical report from when I took her to doctor. It is hard. And when you don't have it for yourself, it is rough. I feel out of this world, like sometimes I just want to give up, she said. And the community police also declined to comment. <clears throat> wow. Crazy future, you know, you didn't say they left out your school name. Then they know in an article, brother. You understand? Sad. And if the mother's side of the story is the correct version of the story, then the school's administration have a lot of questions to answer. Hmm? And I can tell you this, if that 
situation as was described by the mother would have occurred in certain schools with certain students from certain socioeconomic background. I can tell you that all hell would break loose. Yeah? So if the account given by the mother is correct, the administrators at that school need to answer some serious questions. Some legal serious questions too. Mm -hmm. But me I watch and see how it develop. Yeah man. Yeah, boy. Alright, I'm not about to draft in a picture this time still. But we're good friend. Rudolph, not Rudolph, Ruel Augustus Adolphus Reed, Deacon Extraordinaire, Principal Minister of Education, and all sorts of things, said, I am well. Let me read it. I am well, says Ruel Reed. I made rumor. <laughs> Resigned Education Minister Ruel Reed has dismissed reports that he has been hospitalized after taking an overdose of prescription drugs. A man named Adolphus Augustus, it's just me name him, sir. Yeah, sir. There were rumors circulating on social media that Ruel Reed attempted suicide one day in a week. I may have the screenshot up to now. I just never do nothing with their shit. Because I know people stay there. See? The man say him well. And he will have if he got to hell. I don't mean, know if he said that. But he could have said think it's still. But never mind. The claim was circulating on social media. However, Reed told the cleaner that he and his family have been safe and sound. <laughs> and have been coping with measures to contain the spread of the coronavirus in Jamaica. I want to assure me no know who, that I am well, my family is well, he said. And them things. You understand? So you know, say a tree appeal and lose, I know. So you know them up to after this. But that's a, look here, I don't choose you, I just assure you don't want to go on. They have said the general overdose himself and commit attempted suicide. The man has said, them people have to run me and go hide because that got to them now slide. I don't know, I don't know. Never mind. Now, upon a, a more serious concern, the opposition leader, Dr. Peter Phillips, is sick. He has been receiving medical treatment for a while and news was released by him in a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, that he has been diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer and he had a medical procedure done a few days before that and the doctors have said that the outlook is positive and all of them things. So Peter Phillips receiving treatment for stage 3 colon cancer. So the People's National Party is reporting that Party President Dr. Peter Phillips is, recover is receiving treatment for stage 3 colon cancer. Yeah? The party says health evaluations completed recently by UE Professor Terence Forrester and consultant surgeon Dr. Mark um, Newham have resulted in the diagnosis. The party says Phillips underwent complete and successful surgical removal of the cancer on March 23rd and is now recovering comfortably at home. Pathological examination of the specimen as well as staging procedures have resulted in the curable stage 3 diagnosis. The PNP says Phillips will need further preventative treatment in the form of chemotherapy over the next few months as an outpatient as he continues his public duties. It says Phillips' medical and surgical teams are optimistic of complete remission based on the worldwide experience of managing this stage of cancer. Meanwhile, the PNP says party officers were briefed by the medical surgical teams attending to Phillips, and they were reportedly and they have reportedly expressed confidence in his full and complete recovery. So the party officers reportedly indicated that they fully understand and support the doctor's position 
of not making a public statement before completing their testing and evaluation regime and are imploring Jamaican to support Phillips' need for privacy as he enters the next phase of recuperation. The PNP officers are also assuring PNP members and supporters that during the next two weeks, while Phillips is on leave, regular party activities permissible within the COVID-19 will proceed apace and the party will continue to play its part in ensuring compliance with the national emergency. The PNP says Phillips will continue to provide direction and guidance to the party and will increase his level of public duties on the advice of his medical team. Um, I hope that Dr. Phillips' um, recovery will continue positively and for the subsequent for the treatments to come, he will respond favorably and will be as good as new one of them time in the future soon. Yeah, that's what I mean, I say. Yeah, man. Um, you know, we're not too, too indulging in a politics thing, but at the end of the day, he's a Jamaican, he's a human being, though. So, we wish him a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Pretty girls not feel so good in most cases. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it thing go. Let me search one picture and can't find. Me not got it. Me must got that. Mm. So, popular artist, singer, sing J, DJ, Dexter Dapps, current name. I remember. Louis Anthony Grandison was arrested earlier this week, I think, Wednesday afternoon. You know, there are video clips circulating on social media about the arrest of, of Dexter. See? And thing. Um, so the details surrounding his arrest are still a bit sketchy. And thing and thing, but in the video you saw him being led off in handcuffs by members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. There were also soldiers on, on the scene. Um, also, the, the, the community in which he was arrested falls under the South St. Andrew Police Division, which is currently under a state of emergency. And let's keep that in the back of our mind as we discuss this. Zane, so it means then that. The police would have extraordinary powers and they are able to hold him for a few days before charging him or releasing him under the Emergency Powers Act. So, I know some people are saying, well, they have the money and not charge him and them something. Just the information is out there. Where they arrested him, there's a state of emergency. And as such, the police have the authority, the power as prescribed by the constitution of Jamaica to hold the artists for an extended period of time without laying charges. All right? I know that the discussions are well on in earnest, Zane, about the police and the system and this and that. I'm going to really wish for getting at that right now. You yeah, understand? Um, Zane? So, the entertainer has been held at the Huns Bay Police Station where he was brought in for questioning. Um, and when contacted, the JCF said yes, he was detained. I mean, I tell you why them say he was detained. I mean, I don't want to misquote nobody. Head of the, 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 the CCU, um, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay. These were her words. It says, We don't lie. Auntie. She said, Basically, Intense investigations would have led to the arrest of Dexter Dapps as investigations have been going on for a long time and they are at a point in their investigation where they decided to detain him and a group of men in relation to gang activities in the South St. Andrew area. These were the words of the police. Yeah? Key statement. We have been investigating for some time now. Yeah? People are saying 
it is easy to arrest artists in Jamaica and them a fight the music and them a fight dance all. I don't know, know nothing about Dexter Dapp. So I have only had one interaction with Dexter. When I was to interview Merciless, I was supposed to interview Merciless around Friends or Real Studio. But when I reach around the Dexter come with the whole of CV. You understand? And them did not play music. So we couldn't bother interview Merciless Dexter. So we did have to relocate. However, Dexter and I, sta I stood there and I observed this. Dexter Dapps walked around Zane and greeted every single person on the studio compound by shaking them hand and addressing them individually. Yeah? <laughs> so, um, that is the only um, engagement I have of Dexter. Zane, the man come, him don't know me, Simon and Scotty from Adam. I guess he knows some of the other people them there, but he came and he introduced himself and he was pleasant and polite. So, I don't know if nothing bad about the man for say, but I not going to sit down here so, and say the police, them, the, the police them do them job. See, so make we see, make we see what the investigators have and where the investigations lead. Yeah? We, we have this tendency as people, you see? <laughs> Some of us, we get up every day. And we cuss the police them. The police them now nah do nothing. The police them this. The police them that. See? And when the police them try to do some work, you hear so the police them this and the police them that. Like you can't so Jamaican people, you know. You understand? Nobody now nah accuse the man of nothing. But the police, them said them been an investigate and them, based on the investigation, they felt it was time to bring him in. Whether I have a question him or if charge him, we don't know. He has since drawn for the big gun. <laughs> the man where, when the gun for everybody run, Peter Champagne, the champagne boss. You know, one of the questions that people need to ask is why entertainers are working to pay lawyers. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. My grandmother always say, you know, you say if you don't got a full roast, full can't do it upon you like, you know. And many times, many of these artists, them don't mean, eat, they don't mean nobody, not, but sometimes you see the youth them around them, you three grand follower of them, teach them. But Dexter are not chill with no group, oh man. Um, Deco, then, then, me, me, I tell you my experience. Me say, when me see him, I do all I see if you back him. You understand? Zane, when they come up with friends for real. So, me, I tell you when me see. You understand? Why are entertainers so hell bent on working to pay lawyers? Some of these lawyers are becoming wealthy by representing entertainers. And say whatever you want to say about the system. Say whatever you want to say about who will fight who. The reality is that many of these entertainers, and when I speak specifically about Dexadaps, many of these entertainers in Jamaica are involved in folly. I mean, no people are get vexed now, you know. And people are get them panties in a bunch. But you know, most of the time when me talk, me not busy with nobody. Hmm? There are entertainers in this country who say them come from the ghetto and them want to come out of the ghetto zine, and them want to make some money and the moment them start make some money them start do things funny. And then people are going to get up and ball say the system of fight against dance hall and the system of fight against artists and i have long said the people who are fight against the artists are the artists themselves and me keep on asking the question i not seen a police or arrest agent sasko hmm? i not seen a police or arrest shaggy i not seen a police or arrest sean paul I ain't not seen no police arrest Chronics and Chris Martin and Coffee them. Eh? I ain't not seen no police arrest enough artists in the business. 
and you, some of you out there, and me know some of the things them where some entertainers are doing in this country. And we sit down and we blame the system. And nobody now blame the artists. Them, you know? But the moment you talk, you hear to teach them bad mind and teach them a fight artists and teach them the light dancer. Oh no move, Francis. Oh no move. I don't need to tell the artist them to stop the foolishness. I don't need to tell the artist them to stop the folly. Instead of buy a gun, give the youths them, buy some taxi, give the youths them. Eh? On a move, man. Yes, see me? How many one of people are going to fix it? And it don't, it, 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 so, it, it this like soon start pile up it up. I want 10 money my and subscribe. I couldn't care less. The truth is the truth. And some people afraid for talk. See me tell you, me not, me not, me not know man. Yeah, me know you know. Who so predictable brother. Ah uh, sister. Me. Yeah? And again. I'm going to take off champagne off ice cream. You see it? I'm going to go on this light man. I'm going to fool like. You understand? You don't have to go this like 142 times. Because I'm still a loose. You see? Some of these so-called fan belts, because they're not fan. Some of these fan belts and groupies and three grand followers, they are the ones, the ones who are helping to lead these artists down some alleys where they can't turn back from. Because when them do them folly, and we said one defend them, and say the system of fight them, and the youth them innocent, and I get a youth the system of, of, of strength. We are the ones them, where when the man them come sing crap and do crap, and we exalt and lift them up, and them start believe them own crap. If a man am my artist and I say a man do folly, me must get a reason. Look here, all of the artists are accessible. Then they on Instagram, then they on Twitter, then they on Facebook, then they on everywhere. See? If it's an artist, see, you really mean an artist good, you're going to say to your artist, brother, brother, you know, we rate it musically and we see your kind of good on a little part. We may not think that wise in a brother. Check yourself. But no, if you ever talk bad against them, the man, they want to kill you. But no artist no feed me, and I'm telling you that every day. You know. I work for my own money. I'm not nah collecting no three grand from the artist, brother. And all the artists can do, if me ever reach out them for your in, to them for your interview, instead of an interview, then me gone, but my ways, then that don't mean nothing to me. Yeah, that's what I mean. So that's so that the most thing can do, you know. You see? Because you used to teach them a fight dance hall. I mean, I don't know how many people around the world really love dancing more than me, you know. That type of thing, you know, I don't understand, you know. Hmm? We need to talk to the artists, them. I make them understand, say, look here, man, we need to get on the things together. Nobody not fight, you know, I want to fight to yourself. The moment some of the man, them start make money, them start do things with funny. You feel what I say? And the reality that. And even when anything are thump in our eyes, some of we are going like we're blind. <coughs> and we are finding every excuse in the world. Instead of looking at the artist and realizing the artist mess up. And if you take responsibility for them actions. And you know what make it worse? There are so many examples of artists running a fall of the law down there. And some man now learn. And as me I say, for the bird brain them, this is not speaking specifically about Dexadaps. Because Dexadaps has been charged with nothing. So I can't say Dexadaps guilty of nothing. Yeah? This is a general statement. I mean, when I look past some of my comment there more time, you know, man. Uh, yo, I say more time, you know. I <clears throat> take up my phone to tell some people some things, you know. I say, you know what? Teacher, leave it alone. Sometimes I type out some old book, you know, and delete, you know. I say, you know what? Leave it alone. Because you can't school a food. In my language, you mean that. Hmm? But since there's nobody no want to talk, brother. Zane. 
when are we as people going to tell some of these artists so them to take some responsibility for them actions? You reach a case where, where people start justify things, you know. So what if the artist do that because a man did this? Who not hear that, brother? Look how much artists out there when the police never put them on pan. Yet you don't tell me say a system of fight ghetto youths. Look how much man come out of the ghettos and through the system and make a name for themselves and make some money for themselves and them family and them good. And the police now do them nothing. So how come if the system of fight get a youth and every artist get arrested? I don't understand that. Hmm? But we are the people and we make them start believe them own hype. And some man start feel like them bigger than the system. And when them get catch, them start play the victim. Yo. I told me tired tonight and I don't feel too well. You know? I mean, I'm not cuss on people differently. You know? Right? I'm a calm and I'm a calm self. This, you know? hmm? And the moment you talk, a man wants to send you up on your mother and your father and your brother. Or some people in you know, your family. Your neighbor, them. They want to send you up on them. Eh? Because you know if you say nothing bad about them artists and the moment you say something are your mother. Me tell a guy you know, a guy you know, if you subscribe to my channel or watch my video, then you know, me still will survive in our family. So when a man come talk about saying I was unsubscribed because teacher fight, man, go away, man. I wanna man. I don't need to talk to an artist them and tell them if you stop a crap. Eh? Tired of foolishness, man. And then some people with yo, yo, we live in a sad country, you know, brother. And some of the same people them when I defend them and when them know in a wrong I come ball say crime is X and the crime is Y and the police them not do nothing and the government them not do nothing, you know. And when the police them are act, you hear so the police them are fight yo me not understand, brother. So here we go on you now. Here we go on. You see three grand follower of them. Alright, now the amount on the pay good has got less because the corona thing. So you know, good has get about one five this month. You know, brother, I don't mean, know what I'm doing. Yo, the next thing you know, Jamaican man, them love say them are gallus. You know, can't go on dislike a stream from now until tomorrow, Bridget. Me as long as a whole night to dislike it. Yeah, it don't matter to me. See? Watch ya. Jamaican man, them love talk about them are gallus and them not love man. And yet still so have 1500 man back at one man. They may not understand that neither. Eh? But we are get and I be a man of their own. As I say some of the artists them not mean nobody no brother. But sometimes some idiot their own them. Michael you have to cuss them sometime and if I ever want to hear a shame man. Looking at yourself. You'll you, you see if next one or next day. You see me? You don't go on this light, man. You don't fool like. Eh? More time, it's like I lap the man them a lap up in a car, brother. And the man them a jealous. Oh. Me do even like feel man brush against me most of the time, brother. Much less a lap the man them a lap up in a vehicle. You, look. you can't tell me nothing because so much man can't hold in one car. Una a gallus. On three grand follower a gallus. Money now on a lap. Una move, man. See me. I'm not quite done with that story. Yeah. 
Dexadops remains behind bar. Yeah? Dexadops spends, well, spent his second night. I guess tonight I could probably be in third night. You see it? Behind bars at the Hunts Bay Police Station in Kingston last night. And you know, the Sing J was detained on Wednesday afternoon. So, Peter Champigny, Queen's Council, Peter, the ma yo, yo. Why me I tell her? <laughs> Peter Champigny, QC, one of two attorneys at law representing the dance hall, Sing J, said his client is eager to prove his innocence. Zin? So if you're not watching video, I think I have some voice some 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 voice clippings. I don't want to say voice notes, you know, because when I say voice note these days, you know, you know, people get nervous. You understand? So I leave a voice note thing out there. See? <laughs> it is like squad hot. You understand? Mm. Here we go on now, peeps. Um <coughs> Champagne is on representing the DJ, Sing J, and this is what he had to say. Right. I can confirm that I have now been retained to represent Mr. Grandison. Um, he is still in custody at this point in time. I have since written to the authorities, the police high command, indicating that I have been retained to represent him along with Mr. Kamar Robinson. And uh, we are available for a formal interview or to assist in any way that we can in whatever investigations that they are pursuing. We do not know what it is about. And in those circumstances, I am awaiting a response from them. Uh, if it is that a time has passed where I consider it to be unreasonable, then I will have to take another action. So but we await that period. So the artist has not been charged. Um... He is still in police custody at this point, and he has not been charged. Hence the reason for my formal communication to them the police high command indicating that I am available on his behalf to participate in any interview or any inquiries that they would wish to have in terms of whatever it is that they're investigating because the investigations to my mind are, have not been in, in terms of the, the purpose. Yes. It has not yet been revealed in a detailed way that I, it is to my understanding and satisfaction. So we are here at this juncture where I'm awaiting their, their response to my letter. Um, the attorney says that Dexter is maintaining his innocence and that he's a law-abiding citizen. As far as I am concerned, and based on my instructions, he remains a law-abiding citizen and he is indicating that he has done nothing wrong. Those are my instructions. Of course, I can't go into any further details and I would not wish to compromise uh, my position as lawyer to a client in terms of information, nor would I want to jeopardize any investigations that are being pursued at this time by the police. So that is the situation. Um, you want someone like Champigny will be filing, um, what you call it, an habeas corpus soon if no charges are laid and things. So we are watching it and say, I sincerely hope, and I may say this sincerely so, I sincerely hope that the artist is not involved in anything wrong i sincerely hope that in due course if he is not involved in anything um the law will speak but however consequent to that i will also go on record to say if the man them whether dexadaps or whomever involved in anything and the law catch up with them then you spread a bit hard you lay down in the art you understand the man them now learn. See? We don't need to get rid of some of the man them from around on a toe. The next thing. You understand? Me now, so you're not going to have some of your charge them and your power them around here. You know? But you don't need a million man around here, brother. See? And thing. I don't know. Sorry, peace. I can move on to something different, you know, still. But from time to time, I just have to cuss some people, man. Because, yo, you don't go away, man. Tired of some of them. You understand? Nobody can speak their mind and not offended. But you don't have, have to tell people things and, and anything you don't say as law. Where? Not upon this channel, your brother. You understand? Around here, so we don't play that. Remember that. You understand? Because the guy now put on my pot. Remember that. You understand? We never beg an artist a dollar. And we'll never beg an artist a dollar. 
The most we do is reach out to an artist and ask him if we can document him story. And you see the artist that we interview, man will contribute to the business seriously. We don't run down some man like some groupy brother. You understand what I mean? I say, Cause some man has a story, you know, them just on glory, you know. I'm some guy around here, man. The yeah, most you can do is say, yo, tell on a friend them for them to teach them interview, you know. But everything good. A million icons out there. You understand? Remember that. You see me? We don't fear no guy in terms of talking the truth, brother. You understand? The truth are the truth. I'm telling you already, you know. As much respect me for killer, if killer slide me beat him like a baby. And him know that. So I'm not sure why some guy feel like they can't get free pass. And it's a owner, man. You understand? You must have rough up Radney. You understand? I'm not know and behave himself. The school, man. I don't know how I go out of this. So you say, yeah, man. See, I'm not taking no credit for this. And I'm not, but I'm point out something to him. The last round between Killer and Footer Hype, I did a video saying that Bounty Killer, you are the legend of this, and you have all for lose. And the man, them where you have things with, now have a thing for lose. And watch everything go on from that. Just, I just want to go do the research, you know. Believe it, this. I'm not going to take teach them lightly, man. I don't know how I go out of this. You know? you know? <laughs> Hear me ask you now, peace. I can move on, because somebody don't even know how I go out. You yeah, understand? Mm. Yeah, man. When you understand yourself, man, when you go on like an artist of gods, gods where, man, know themselves, man, and stop the folly, man, and stop encouraging you them for the crap, and stop buy a gun, give you them to the one them where you do that. Bombard, man. You see me? That's what you do. Buy some taxi, give you them for try to uplift themselves. You understand? Make some business and put the youth them in a for them earn an honest living. Ready or no, peeps? Sex workers want COVID bailout. Do you mean? So, them no people too. Everybody I get bailout. So, why then can't get bailout? Hmm? More than a dozen commercial sex workers who operate within Falmouth, a tourist area, you, know? you understand? Chilani say they are now reeling from the effects of the coronavirus, even though the parish is yet to report a case. Hmm? With Jamaica's ports, including the Falmouth Pier close and nightly curfews in place, they cannot get customers. And the longest me ever find myself without a dollar in my name. Good as say. Good as with them girl, you are good as with the we walk out, walk out with your friend. And tell her, me ba, me ba, me ba, me ba, re. <laughs> yeah, and the longest me ever find myself without a dollar in my name. Good as said. Me two pitney them, they with them granny at all. But me still sustain them. Big up yourself, good as. A good move that. And enough money it costs a week time for mind them. And my mother, Zane, it's like the real man them dry up. And the few man them where, uh, where, wa, where we want to see, Zane, I just some little five hundred dollar they must spend. Then things rough in the moment. Yeah, if you understand, Zane, plummy. <laughs> a close friend. Plummy and good as. Plummy good as. Said that she used to make US eight hundred dollars daily. How and if me I say clearly. Plummy. Plummy bank account son. Plummy. But if plumber make make eight hundred dollar a day, then plumber should have money for a rainy day, a night, a month like. Then then me no know. Plumber, oh go on. But all of that just gone from Corona come to Jamaica. But plumber, you need a financial advisor to make you move wiser. You understand? With it kind of still I make a little money, you know. Even when the cruise ship them stop, and we stop get white man. But with um but with it still a sell to the driver them and I make a food. But from the Prime Minister come talk about curfew, everything's up all together. Yes, yeah, and promise said that she sends twelve thousand dollars weekly to her seventeen year old daughter 
who is attending nursing school. But promise if you make eight bills a day, you couldn't send her eight bills for a week. You understand? You make your daughter go on. You understand? Eight bills a day. Let me read that again. Because I could ask me. Hold on, hold on. 800 USD. Hold on. Let me copy and paste. Because I don't want to say I tell life plumbing, you plumbing. Know? You understand? Because I don't want to see me and do my things. You, know? you see? Brother, you see 800. What do you mean 800 Jamaican dollar juice in here? You think say girl plumbing thing cheap. You understand? See the US eight hundred dollars daily. You see, watch it now. Right now, right now, me a fret because me don't know me head from my foot, and it's like no police, no prime minister don't care about it because we hear them announce about money and grant for people, for give people, but our lack of whistle, we not qualify for it because we are prostitute. And them no recognize me. The woman said that they may soon have to leave Falmouth because they are unsure if they can wait out the lockdown. Whatever we lockdown, mommy, I wish part to open. You understand? Eh, so plummy and good as I say thing rough. You understand? But more advice plummy and good as for look at him. He's no financial consultant still. But more want make plummy and good as know so when the thing up, they need to save some money. You understand? Because if them say them make 8 bills US a day, then they should be rich. Eh? What do you mean? Eight to right now, plummy. It look like you move with your money, bummy. I know why well, I don't know. But but hope the ladies them find a way to survive. It thinks that are way. You understand? I work them a work. You understand? You see? No, in Jamaica, it's not really legal like that still, but you know what thing go? And thing. Um, yes, Jaja. I said, they need to switch careers. See? They need to save some money, because if they might work such good money regular, they not should be all right, man. You see me? Now, navigating, let me say that again. Let me say a little thing. Do the right thing. Yeah, hear me, Bridget. The close can allow the close contacts in thing. Kissing and sex. That might have a rest. You know it hard, but you have to try your best. <laughs> uh, let's not plumbing and goody are essential service workers. <laughs> yes, they're essential. Right, and I'll teach. Eight bills are almost my monthly salary. But me I tell you, if they make eight bills a day, Jerry, them should not rich, brother, them should not have your search it. You understand what I say? But it's like them never did a safe none. You see, them good as a floss and then das. You understand? I know a lot of money get lost. Mm. And see them a cuss and I blame the boss. Say him and the police are the cars. You understand? Yeah, that's how you go. Navigating safe sex during coronavirus. Kissing and sex that might have a rest. I never said it after you, I said it might after rest. I know it hard, but you have to try your best. You understand? With millions of New Yorkers locked indoors as a safety precaution, one of the organizations tasked with keeping residents safe, the New York Health Department, has issued guidelines on enjoying sex safely during the coronavirus crisis. While the bulletin concedes that not everything is known about the coronavirus and sex, it warns all New Yorkers to stay home and minimize contact with others to reduce the spread of the COVID-19. Yeah, me a warning for a long time, I don't know, listen. <laughs> we still have a lot to learn about COVID-19 and sex. Yes, and that's why I must say you have to try your best. Zine, but the virus can be spread through direct contact with saliva and mucus. The alert outline. Kissing can easily pass on the virus. So avoid kissing. Anyone who is not part of your small circle of close contacts. No kiss nobody. COVID-19 has not yet been found in semen or vaginal fluid. But don't, don't be the first person for them finding a fear. You understand? Auntie. 
You see him? You are your safest sex partner. You hear that? The alert advice. Masturbation will not spread COVID-19. Boy, I mean, I tell you. You understand? I mash up, I mash up some people. It means anyway now. Especially if you wash your hand. And any sex toy with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. You understand? Wash your hand and a pipe. No, wash your hand for 20 seconds. And a pipe or in a pipe. Yo, a long time. I tell me things, man. You know, listen, you know? Listen me. <laughs> yo, yo. You come like, I'm you right this. I don't right this still. It's not me. Because I know when we say your teeth. So like, are you right this, you know? It's not me. You know, you know, you matter about New York. You see me know that about New York? Sure. So here yeah, what go on now? Yeah, you should have fought. Yeah, we said that already. Shall we there now? I mean, let me make you find out. Yeah. The next safest, the next safest sex partner during coronavirus is someone you live with. You should avoid close contact, including sex, with anyone outside your household. If you do have sex with others, have as few partners as possible. <laughs> Yo, I article I cuss some bad with some people, yes, you know. If you usually meet your sex partners online, or make a living by having sex. Consider taking a break from in-person dates, video dates, sexting, or chat rooms may be options for you. And disinfect keyboards and touch screens that you share with others for video chat, for watching pornography, <laughs> and for anything else. Vassal Ogilvy, a licensed Jamaican psychotherapist from Poros, Manchester, who has a practice in New York, had this to say about the sex guide. You yeah, understand? I will know some people are doing it and hide. You see? Hope them and Corona don't collide. You see? <laughs> sex is a natural part of human life. Yeah, man. A good thing. So those who work in the sex industry will continue to work for financial needs, like plumbing and gooders. But them say things rough. My advice is to take all necessary precautions that entail safety to yourself and your customer or partner. It is imperative that PPE be used. So you're supposed to use PPE when you have sex. And plastic set, set uh, bombas. Zin? Condoms, masks, sanitizer, gloves. But most important, use common sense. If you not got that low sex thing. A common sense thing, you know, is most important thing. You understand? If you if you're left at your yard, low sex. You see? Eh. And a younger Jamaican in New York, Rhythm Pink, a rising hip hop and dancehall influencer in New York, said it is very important to highlight safety precautions. See? Phone sex. I what reggae singer JC Lodge called telephone up. Mama JC, big up yourself, you know. Yeah, them time there. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Yeah. Telephone love. Ha <laughs> ha! Zin, back in the days, it's now a big rage. FaceTime is a new private pleasure palace for most couples. Singles and side chicks, you understand? Because of social distancing. And a tip to the females who love oral sex, it should be practiced safely with condoms. Redeem Ping said. Then, Jack Mandu, I'm not choose none. So, I get it, so I tell him, I never choose my side. I just read the thing. I mean, I don't nobody call my name, you know. You understand? So, I don't dead know where I go. At. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just like a warrior, you go cookie. <laughs> Jaja. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, what the room was really bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, peeps. My dos. I do my civic duty and I could not know say I have to be careful. You understand? Because I don't want to end up tearful. <laughs> Use as much suits. You don't have to touch. <laughs> Telephone, love. Mm. Peeps. I like that. You understand? Um, I survive. As I say, whatever it I vibe when I start the live. But through the course, I revive. <laughs> you understand? Um, digital home text a population can't you? I want to tell us, you know, the birth rate might skyrocket down the long run, you know. You understand? Because, you see, our upper side, I do. 
vinegar youth, behave yourself in a class. You understand? You know, some, sometimes you do a class and a man set up. As, Sir, monkey man attack. You understand? Monkey man up beside up, behave. <laughs> yeah, what I tell you, you know, you would say monkey man and you look cross. I see how they matter. You have to try hard for no laugh for the but but uh, you have a general still, you see it? But even I say no, peeps, when I see your note still, see teach teacher rhyme like a merciless, you know, careful and don't end up tearful. <laughs> As merciless, say, I beg your pardon. No, my heart get hardened. <laughs> teach, Scotty British live with you. Scotty is our own big man who live our own yard. I want to know Scotty. You just be telling me, I am say, I say, I say, Pips, you are going to know. Um, but there, man, I get some rest. See, before I do that still, I go match up the clips them, camera one and camera two for the interview. So I can start cut it tomorrow. See? We say less outside sex practice. I true that. But then you know, then you know, um digital. Let me give you a joke. One time I have a grade 8 social class. I made that teach them population. See? So I think we're looking at um, population change, trends. You know, you look at birth rate and death rate and the works, life expectancy and things. So I you in a gradient. I said, sir, you know say between me and you still. You know say country people get pregnant more than town people. I mean I say, eh, what do you mean by it? A gradient, you know. And the man I said, sir, look into it. You want to see a country, you know, because me spend a little day a country, you know, and when night come in, you know, nothing for the end, you just lock down. So when the man and woman, then lock down, sir. You don't know where I go on, sir. So me, I said, then I lock down a town, but the man, I said, sir, the man, then go a party a town regular, and they have TV for watch and cable and this, isn't it? And when you look into a youth, I said, there's a message in it. You understand? So digital home tech, you know, when it, when them lock down a yard for a long time, then you know, a problem. You understand me, I said? Yeah, man. Mm, so, yeah, yeah, everybody. Um. Roman is saying, go and listen to the JC Lodge now. See? And thing. Pips, big up on yourself. I appreciate the support. You answer them. I say, you go watch a video of them. Um, for some strange reason, I don't think any notifications like that went out for the voice note video with the son of Miss um, Colleen Walker. Um, see? Based on the reaction of, the, of, the, of the, the people them to the video. Someone don't know. You go watch that if you see. The Dexter Labs video is there. See? And I will hope for Dexter's sake that... Um, he, after his question, the police, them have nothing against him. And Dexter, if you know, brother, say you're involved in a something more, you're not supposed to be involved in a take for yourself out of it, sir. That's all I have to say. You understand? Simple maths. You see? Pips, I you saw on a Sunday, the Sunday service, sometime between 12 and 3 p.m. Um, legendary interview, if I might say so myself. Um, I know some people where say sex six feet apart. <laughs> but that even get into that with digital, you know. See me? Um and think it will be the last interview for now as I I stopped conducting interview over three weeks ago because of the whole coronavirus situation and thing. Um so this will be the last one. So see if I it for now. And thing. I mean a million interview schedule, but we did have to reschedule and put off on them something because you know what I think? And thing and thing. Teach, it's true. And of COVID, baby. We are going to see next year. What do you mean? Um, quarantine and Corona. <laughs> the quarantines and Coronas. Um, let me see that meme there somewhere. Zane, peeps, good night. Enjoy the rest of your Easter weekend. If you're in Jamaica in lockdown, if you're overseas lockdown, Zane, um, make the most of your family. Spend some time with your kids, play some games, watch some movies, see, do some work with the youth them. You understand? Spend some time with your significant other. You understand what I say? See, mend some fences. You understand? And thing, and thing, and thing. You understand? And them look at things. But no, it's hard for some people because they're not used to their them yard. And they don't really spend much time with them family. So now this may be a time for with us. You know what I mean? Get it right. Peeps, good night. You understand? I don't know anything. I don't need to tell you no more. I don't know what go on. You understand? I don't need to you know for one because they're intelligent people. I don't know three grand followers are not groupy. You understand? I don't want independent minded, hard working adults. I don't do the right thing. Whether they are yard or foreign. You understand? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. 
just follow the rules. Don't be fools. You know what I think. Yeah, but before we go, you know, I have to bless up the place with a little thing. And then we come back. 2020 of the year, we're just not here. You're not busy with nobody or have no fear. I wonder if it's true, it's a leap year. Here comes Corona, what a massive scare. Some say a man make it cause the planet, them want to wreck it. Some say a biological warfare, some say logical cause God they near. But youth, let me tell you the truth. Me here says a man what to drink some bat soup. From Wuhan, China to Kingston, Jamaica. You remember when them say if it reach, it can't stay ya. Yo, and a joke thing, it a mash up foreign. The UK and the UK, Spain is in pain. Don't forget Italy, where it a deal with bitterly. Round the world, it killed thousand. Right now, enough country, it left frozen. Yard and abroad, ruin our God. It no care who you be or who you call lad. Some man still a take risk, like them can't get sick. Some not nah take no talk. All the law them are this. Some prefer go viral than the moon survival. Some man a joker is like the devil of them idol. This thing is a wave, but it not tidal. Right now the baddest thing and it has no rival. Social media is a problem in the COVID fight. A lot of info, but nothing right. Confusion and panic are that them are in sight. Nuff man a ton doctor and most no bright. Please beware, stop believe everything you hear. You remember when them say blocks can't catch that. And let's be clear, Jano, I swear, I understand the fear. But let's be calm and stay informed. Vinegar and peroxide must never collide. We are buy some things and even know inside. Miss Mabel, if it not no label, it no able. Cause they might use it and become unstable. To good shopping practices, you must abide. If you must sneeze, just step one side. Use a piece of tissue, that shouldn't be no issue Coughing is no laughing, especially if it often Wash your hand for 20 seconds And a pipe or in a pan Always use soap, this I hope Cause this virus thing serious, but with it we can cope Do the right thing, you are here my regin No bother with the close contact thing Kissing and sex, that might have to rest Me know it rough, but you have to try your best Just follow the code, avoid the road Stick to the rules don't be fools. Corona or harder, me don't even know what some man rather. But not for try off a prison, cause them just nah listen. Don't touch your face, me know it hard. But in any case, life too precious and that we can't waste. Yo, get a mask, fill up with the task. You know full proof, but the virus it will help. Well off. This plus disinfectant and social distance will help us to keep up resistance. Yo, if you start feel sick, nose a run and you feel feverish. Cough, sneeze, and your throat start itch. Do the right thing. Don't hide it. Don't hesitate or wait too late. What you gonna say when they show up at your gate? Call the authority. Death. Not try off of it. Not through your Sirona and Magli in a skirt. Make sure you go on. Don't try to flirt. She will kick off your face and you drop a dirt. This is not a death bell. The data will tell. Majority survive and I do very well. This is a new dawn from which we will move on. Just take care of the elderly and don't forget the newborn. Stop discriminate. Don't show it. Stop criticize. Don't stigmatize. Just remain wise. Open your eyes. And above all things, stay sanitized. <laughs> I want to tell you, say, I know, so what? Nothing where I just say, you no, know, no, come go on the bed. Who no come go on the bed? Because look how long man I talk, I don't know, you know, no, no, I say, no, uh, me, 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 me gone. I told me they turn off the audio when me I say, I think, well, I'm happy in the head, you know. Yeah, me tell you, so all age, I run me down. You understand? But, me I say it again, because I'm not my friend, you know. You understand? Mm. Then, then, on the, yeah, on the look how long his son come back. Why? Peeps, big up on yourself. 
I know some of lock down, but some people still have to go road, some member the road code, them big old headphones they stop cover out on the head on the road and then blow two dead pieces. No need it. Keep on the phones down the pockets on the bag. You understand why I could only cash what you need? Them bangles and them jewels and bangles and fandangles that you work for and your money by, but people will take your life in the process. If you must take public transportation and try to travel in a group, if you cannot travel in a group, know the do's and the don'ts. The group thing kind of rough announced still. Nobody travel in a group. You right don't know about the travel, but if you must travel, you understand, take the license plate, so you know, go get somebody, tell people where yeah, they tell people where you yeah, go. Always follow your instinct. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. Above all, shape no man's hand. You know, if you drop in that. For the people, them, where they are there, you know, I'm going to kill them. You amount to some video, I see for Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. You understand, girl in a so so baggy and then sitting there. You see, member say, you know, work, I go come back again, you know. Member say, you know, go on. Go apply for some job, some place, you know, and people are going to search for you, you know. You understand, and soon, you know, so, so baggy, you know, and wind up, you know, behind up, you know. You know, you know, you understand, don't make a, 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 a curfew, and the, and the, and the, and the, the, the what you call that one, the quarantine, zine, turn in a preteen. Know what you do. You understand, you know, you know, have, have a look at decency, you know, and look at dignity to the thing. You understand, if you make a one video, then you don't have to show it to the world. You understand? If you are sure, so they go give you one speaker, then that different. But say, you know what do, man. You understand? And for the people, them in the quarantine time, where everybody has shared them, them, them best life, zen and thing, and you feel like you live stress life, stop. For them best life, or for them best life. Your best life, or your best life. You understand? You need to learn for all your own until you can own your own. Peace, big up on yourself. I may say Finnar, the man with the girls, I may say a star. Jaro 306, Kurt Neil Matthias. Barbzy, um, B, Romario Toretto, Miss Funk, Apple Cider Vinegar, um, John Young, Zane Kanaika, Lady Clark, Peter May, Triple Duel, um, Deluxe, Zane Danny Black Horse, Danny Big Up Yourself, you know, Cams, DeAndre Small, Miss Millicent Thomas McDermott, Warrior Star, Sir M, Zane, um, who else in the building? Peter May, I know Michael did there, May what? Zane Mike Lewis, Dante Dan, I think New Wave did there, but I don't know if General there. Zane, I think um, James Bond was here one of the time. I don't know if he was still there, but Sean W, big up yourself, you know. Kerry J, big up yourself. DS Electronics Unlimited. Uh, so Kerry there, I know Kerry now, you know. Zane, Kerry, I'm a general. You understand? Yeah, man. Um, Craig Creations, big up yourself, you know, brother, brother. You understand? All of the moderators, they big up on yourself, you know. You feel what I say? I appreciate the work. Julian Smith, brother, brother, big up yourself, you know. PS4 Gamers, manners and respect, you know. Um, Zane, what is Kanai Fun King Jones? Big up yourself, you know, family. That name, they nearly confuse me. Zane, Juggernaut MJ, how you know, say, what a good Friday it has been. It must be a good Friday. You understand? Good, good night. Good night, Miss Marshawn. It is good to see you. You understand? I appreciate the past, you. You understand? You yeah, have a few things I would say, but make it stay. You yeah, understand? Yeah, man. Mm. Um, Rowan, Mary, Kerry, fix your face. Pablo George, you know you're large and in charge. Cookie Mama, big up yourself, you know. You know it's something go. Yeah, man. Mm. Yes, I. Pips, good night. Sunday. Sunday service. Big interview. You yeah, understand? Big interview. When they done, some people are going to screw. But you know, teach them not really care at who. I just some work we are do. You understand? We just a cut and cut you. You understand? Carl, some boy name forget Carl when they move low. Hi. <laughs> Peter me. <Mia. coughs> Appreciate the support in the brother. What a night, what a day. You understand? Big up yourself, you know. You see him. Kerry J. <laughs> May I left. May I cut. Peeps, you know what? Uh, I'm going to run this, but I'm not going to leave. I'm come back. I just want to hear this. I'm going to run the intro for the stream because some people come in later and see it. You know what? Upgrade. Upgrade. Watch it. Upgrade. Sasko interview. One of them time there. Naturally. Um, what else? Zane? All right. Watch it now. You know what? 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 Kaboom. Teach them. Always make sure the message I reach them. Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. 
You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. You know, it's Teach Dem, the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Yeah, see that? That name intro. This name Hocho. Me not left. Me not left. Me a come back. Thank you for tuning in. Like the stream before you go. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to share the stream with your family and friends and browse the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Oh, but me I left now. Me I left now. Still. Big up on yourself. Walk good. Step with Jack. I'm out. Watch it again. Thank you for tuning in. Like the stream before you go. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to share the stream with your family and friends and browse the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them. Hey, yo, yellow. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing.